You have no idea Bring in what, and then push out. Yeah. what is in here. It is <laughs> 57 it's minutes of chaos. Ex organized. Or Bedlam. We mm. leave most of it in our wake. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to make this official now, okay? <laughs> Unbelievable. You All guys right. are awesome. Our first guest <laughs> has a new project to sink your teeth into. Mm -hmm. well, we first got lost in Ian Summerhalder's eyes when he played Boone Carlisle on the hit ABC <laughs> drama Lost. Then again, when he became a part of our CW family here when he played the dreamy vampire Damon Salvatore mm -hmm. in the supernatural drama The Vampire Diaries. I wanted to be Freckles so badly. <laughs> now the superstar is focusing on creating I to be Nina Dobrev. a better, healthier planet for everyone with his new documentary, Common Ground. There's a way to save our precious soils. It's called regeneration. <laughs> Regeneration is not just restoring the land to the state that we found it at, but actually making it better. We have added over 96 tons of carbon per acre into our soil. Can we mitigate climate change? Absolutely. I love that guy. <laughs> I'm going to need his name. He's a gay brown. He's the best. Okay. Common so Ground premiered at Tribeca Film Festival earlier this year. Summerhalder is not only featured in the film, he also serves as an executive producer. Officially, <laughs> hello and welcome hello. to New York Living. I've just been uh, privy to what just the, the genius that goes nice. on here. We Thanks were, for having me, everybody. Well, this the is, pleasure's all ours. This is a treat for us. The, this yeah. documentary, when we were showing the clip, you were saying, have you seen it yet? It's amazing. And we were like, save it for the air. Yeah, because tell, us, tell us all the heavy It's hitters. really mind-blowing. The, go over quickly for those who don't know the uninitiated, the, the whole premise. Of the what whole, well, the whole film. So this is the second film right. of three. Mm -hmm. Kiss the Ground was the first mm -hmm. one. That's on Netflix. Super easy to find. Uh, Common Ground's out in uh, theaters now. I think that we're like number twenty-one on the doc mm -hmm. chart or something like here, climbing. Here. It's really special. Uh, this is a love letter to our children. When you mention something like. Um, climate change or agriculture, people, they do this. They do two things they do, either this or they do this. They mm -hmm. typically mm -hmm. shrink because mm -hmm. it's such an, a huge thing. It's a lot. Super simple. What is regenerative agriculture and why is it important? Really easy. Regenerative agriculture is just the use of planned grazing methods and literally using living, growing plants mm. at scale to sequester enormous amounts of carbon dioxide, store it safely back in the ground where it belongs. Super easy. Now, when That's you do it. that, you feed all the little vital microorganisms in the soil, healthier soil, healthier plants, healthier people, but healthier farming community. Mm -hmm. Better money for farmers, pulling farmers off of government subsidies, right. building farmer prosperity. Big positive cascade, it's a right? It's snowball, yeah. It's a snowball, higher tax bases, better mm -hmm. schools, better water district. I mean, just it goes on and on and on. But the big one is, ding, ding, stopping climate change right. in its tracks. We could basically, we know the numbers, we see the data. We can eat all the carbon that we produce every year and put it back in the ground with what's called healthy soil practices. Boom. Period, full stop. Thank Mic you. drop. That was, yeah. the, that was the climate change, change for dummies. That, well, so you don't no, have to shrink makes, into yourself. No, for, for everything. We're all dummies. It's like, how could we ever, ever dealing with everything we're dealing with in right. life? How could you ever know all this unless yeah. you're a soil scientist, a climate scientist? Because they're not or, teaching it to you in school. No. They're not, but they're about to start because it's, because it's about to be something that's so big and so prevalent in society. And that's why we're saying, you know, uh, we're in theaters here in January in New York, but anyone you talk to outside of the country, go on our website, mm. go on our face or Instagram, buy tickets, get yeah. into the theater. And if you're not, like you can't go to the theater, get tickets for someone else because people are now going on dates they're skipping going to like a rom-com <laughs> and they're going they're to watch this ground. documentary because it's not all doom and gloom right now there there is so much hope and there's light at the end of the tunnel and it is not uh you know the a-train coming right. at us well i think to your point i think what you we throw around these yes. enormous terms oh, yeah. like climate change and they seem so insurmountable they're daunting right they're daunting can we just go back where did your love of Yes. Farming, agriculture, where did this all come from? I grew up in the deep southeast, but on the bayous. Yeah. Really delicate ecosystems, but my family, my grandparents, on my mom's side, all farmers. Everything was farming. And we were a very poor family in Louisiana. But in the 70s and 80s, you didn't need anything. We had an abundance of food. We had healthy ecosystems. We had everything we needed. We had family, culture, and food. So I guess... 
at that point, you're kind of rich, but we were socioeconomically very poor. Which is so fascinating. Isn't to it strange? Yeah. 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 And now you mentioned something interesting too. You said in January this is in theaters in New York, but if you yeah. go anywhere else in the world. And that brings to mind. Well, in the country, it's all over right now in theaters all over the country. In the Okay, it's just New York in January. Yeah. We I can't imagine some of the places where, where this project has taken you. Mm. And it's insane. what you've learned. And what you see coming out of this country versus others that you've visited, perhaps. Mind-blowing. Listen, I... So Josh and Rebecca Tickell, the powerhouse husband and wife, director, producer, writer duo, and our amazing team, have created something that is world-changing. Because mm -hmm. basically what we're doing as a result of this, not just empowering farmers, but bringing in all of this new energy, mm -hmm. every walk of life, every ethnicity, indigenous, all of this new energy is coming in. And we are literally building, as we speak, the single largest carbon capture food economy in the world, from the Carolina coast to the California coast. It's happening. And you just saw Gabe Brown, who's mm -hmm. such a huge hero of ours. <laughs> oh, and Alejandro Carrillo as well in Mexico. He's doing it like, We're you gotta have this yeah. guy on. He's unbelievable. But Gabe Brown, these guys, and Alan Williams and all these guys, they are the bridge. They are about to make farming the coolest, sexiest right. thing around Good. because it is the most important thing. Yep. If you think about it, the people who produce our food should be our favorite people. Mm -hmm. That's right, teachers and farmers. And so all we need to do, there's a big policy issue here. Not issue, let me rephrase that. There's a big policy play here. Mm -hmm. All we have to do is get the farm bill rewritten a little bit to now appropriate that money that's going to these ridiculous subsidies that are poisoning mm -hmm. our food mm -hmm. system to give it to farmers to teach farmers. Because once farmer, so farmers only want to talk to farmers. Because that's all they trust. They know what's going on. But do you blame them? No, not even a little <laughs> bit. Farmers teaching farmers is how this spreads. Yeah. And so what's crazy is money talks, BS walks, boop, walks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Regenerative agriculture produces higher yields, more money right. for farmers. The economics of it work. So when you tell a farmer that they can make more money, their kids get to go to better schools, they get to live in a better house, they don't have to go to the bank every year for a loan, you're basically getting the farmers off of the drip of the agrochemical mm. companies. Mm. And that's what Common Ground does. Basically what it does is it exposes the money pipeline from the agrochemical companies right. into the universities in this country. Right. And what you learn is these agrochemical companies have been secretly microfinancing yeah. all of the agricultural yeah. university curriculum in this mm -hmm. country for 40 years. Yeah. Yes. Because there's 20 plus agricultural, agri agrochemical lobbyists per every member of Congress. Oh yeah, there's, there's always... Can you imagine having to deal with that? No. No, I mean, ask the people in Puerto Rico. They, they know a lot about this in the University of Mayaguez, but I want to go back to the star power Ugh. in this film. Yeah. The voice of... Oh, it's huge. One, the one and only uh, Laura Dern. Who oh else? Gosh. Who She's else is, is, see what is, is a part Rosario of Rosario Dawson, Donald Glover, my brother Jason Momoa, Woody Harrelson, mm -hmm. and then me, and at this point, I mean, I, you know, I stepped away from acting over four years ago, so I'm like, I'm lowest on the totem pole. Not for um, us. No, I mean in the best way. I've just been focused. I, 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 I walked away from um, the only industry I knew that ever supported my life um, to, you know, build my companies and raise my family, mm -hmm. um, but get these films launched. Yeah. Yep. It requires a tremendous, there's no way I could be on a TV show right now or right. shooting a film. This is your full job. Yeah, yeah, so we needed to get Josh, Rebecca, and myself, and Nikki, my, my Nikki, Reed, decided this is the single most important story of our lifetime, mm -hmm. period. Yeah. And so what we do now is not just for the future, it's also for now. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So we all collectively decided, like, we don't want to be the parents that look at our... Here's what you don't want to be. You don't want to be the parents that look at your kids and say, I'm sorry. Right. You want to be the parents that look at your kids and say, we did something, right. and it worked, and it's still working. And now, because of that, we're passing the torch to you because now you have a bright, healthy future. Right. Mm -hmm. And you just got to kind of remember, like, we can stitch this country back together. You know, listen, the world is so divided right now. Yeah. Soil is our only common ground. Well, we have to thank you, too, because you, you, it, it, it really is food is what makes the world go round mm -hmm. in more ways than one. And so, I mean, the fact that you yeah. stepped away from the world that you knew and that supported you and your, and your 
do, like you're fully devoted to this to, yeah. to better yourself but everybody else is very admirable thank and you. we thank you for doing that and you we had come work. to the farm I mean I need a haircut my wife made sure my <laughs> my, uh, my nails were clean she's like honey and we didn't even get to talk you know because you're not busy enough yeah. you have the, the, the new business venture There's with so your brother much. from the show so you'll have to come back and oh visit my gosh us. you just have we'll have to do a tasting with you please well, well you know we have Merlot coming up we are not going to yes and she's super cool <laughs> by the way again climate change wine chocolate All food of the it all ties together. Will you come back and visit? You're yeah, the best. I would love we to. Love you you got to invite me, though. Everybody. And if you we would like to get involved or take action, yes. head to commongroundfilm.org or check them out on Instagram at commongroundfilm to request a screening of the request film. Request a screening. Oh, let's of the do a film. screening. Let's do a screening at, at my kids' school, too. Let's, oh, yeah. Let's do that. Here you go.